Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and in today's video I'm going to give you a plan on how you can make a million dollars out of Forex trading. And as you'll see, this is a proven plan, so there's no reason why you can't do it too. Now, I've been trading Forex online for about 17 to 18 years. And when I started out, I was lucky enough to join a group of guys and we went on a Forex trading course in a, a company in Midrand near Johannesburg in South Africa and uh, attended that particular course. During the process, we learned that there's this guru trader who trades really big money and he had an office across the road from uh, where we were doing our course and he didn't mind people going around and chatting uh, uh, while he was trading. He didn't trade that often uh, and while he was waiting for trades to occur he was happy to talk to people. So we went along the group of us and spent quite a bit of time with this trader. In fact we, we spent a few days in his office uh, chatting and about forex trading and all that type of thing and it was one of the best kickoffs we could ever have had to be exposed to a really good trader so early in our careers. Now his history was that he did the same course that we had just done and he then went away and spent two months looking at the forex market, back trading, trying all kinds of techniques, support and resistance, momentum, all those kind of techniques he tried out and experimented with for two solid months and that's something like 16 to 18 hours a day that he spent on that. Coming out of that he came up with a few techniques that he had really good confidence in and he started trading live on a number of those but soon specialized on one particular one which gave quite a good success rate. Now with a good success rate you can actually risk more of your account and therefore gain more uh, because of the confidence you have that your technique will work. The plan he used, the technique he used is what I'm going to be showing you and that is what we also benefited from by being in his office and uh, spending time with this particular trader. This trader after five years we lost a bit of touch with him as he started traveling quite a lot and he had quite a lot of money to invest so he was basically just living off his investments and uh, traveling quite a lot but what he had taught us was this plan that I'm going to be showing you and also the techniques of and we'll also be looking at some of the techniques that he used. Now as I said earlier I've been involved in online forex trading for a long time and I have been exposed to some really good traders besides this particular one we've there's been some other ones that have really turned small amounts of money into huge amounts of money over time and they all have a number of traits that are very important to have if you want to succeed and make a million dollars out of forex trading. So before we go on to the plan and I'll show you how it works, I just want to explain to you the kind of traits that a successful forex trader has and we also, we'll also look at the kind of traits that an unsuccessful forex trader has uh, and that will explain to you why this guy was so successful. Okay, so let's begin and I'm going to go for the big daddy of what makes successful traders versus unsuccessful traders and that is basically mindset. This guy, and luckily he passed it on to a number of us in our group, had a money magnet mindset. Now that might sound crazy to a lot of people, but essentially he had trained his mind to attract everything he needed to make lots of money. Now uh, it was in the days of uh, Napoleon Hill and, but uh, Napoleon Hill was around and he was a student of that and we all basically became students of that and the money magnet concept is a very very important one. If you've gone through the money money concept you will realize that after a while things just come to you and come to you over and over again and you 
get all the resources, the knowledge, the contacts, all that type of thing that you need to make lots of money. When you have a money magnet mentality or mindset, no matter how much work you do, it is not hard work. You enjoy it. And he was a particularly hard worker. And we also became extremely hard workers because we had a goal that we were going for. You also become extremely positive. You don't see obstacles in your way. You overcome them very, very quickly because you've got bigger things to move on to. You also don't take shortcuts because you know that someday you're going to need to know something about this aspect or that aspect. So therefore you develop a holistic approach and you start becoming an expert at absolutely everything that we're Forex trading is involved. Now that might include money management, position sizing, how to get out of deals, how to get into deals, how to vary lot sizing during deals, what is the best entry technique, what is the best exit technique. You, need, you become an expert at all of those things. So you don't take shortcuts at all. You actually take long cuts. We used to call it. The other thing is you become self-reliant. You don't need anybody or a guru or anybody to tell you what works and doesn't work because you know what works. So you don't rely on external people. You have done the homework. You've back traded particular techniques and you know if they work or not. Now the winning uh, mindset is also one we have realistic expectations. You don't expect to have be successful in every single deal. You, you do expect to be able to manage the deals to get the best out of the deals. So you have realistic expectations. Now, just another thing is that successful traders have their own language. You can actually tell the way a successful trader from an unsuccessful trader just by the way they talk, the energy they have in what they say, the confidence they have in what the concepts they discuss, the way they discuss obstacles, how they overcome the obstacles very quickly and are very resourceful in that particular area. They don't rely on anybody and they know exactly how to find whatever they want. Now, as a group, we soon realized that there are these groups of people where some are successful or others are, uh, are unsuccessful. And we made a conscious effort to expose ourselves to the successful ones and to mimic their abilities. So we would go to trading uh, clubs. We would go to uh, technical analysis meetings. We'll go to where they showed trading videos. In those days, we didn't have YouTube and things like that. And we mixed with as many successful forex traders as we could. And the other thing with successful people, they choose their mentors. Their mentors don't choose them. They choose their mentors. So when we see a successful trader, we go we take, take them out for coffee or for lunch and we chat and make friends and we spend time in their trading room and we just chat about forex trading. So you actually create your own mentors and and uh, you, the mentors could even be some of the authors that you read. So sometimes we would have a trade and say, now, what would Alexander Elder do in a case like this? You know, and we that's how we developed our Forex trading careers. But we took no shortcuts and we did all the work ourselves. We had a money magnet mentality or mindset. Now, if you compare it with what's going on today, people just have the opposite. They want to buy a robot. They want to plug it in and they want to become a millionaire in six, six months time. They wanted the shortest shortcut that can be taken to success. They have unrealistic expectations. They will blame everybody and anybody and everything for their failures except themselves. And they would spend a lot of time on their failures. They will try to get money back for this. And they try to, to uh, discredit that person. And they would do all those kind of things just to take attention from their own inabilities. They don't know how to deal with problems. When a problem arises, they avoid it and go in another direction rather than tackling it and getting over it and moving on. Their language, their language is completely different to a winning trader. They complain, they discuss problems, they discuss the, the bad things in the industry. You can tell a winner from a loser, they are miles apart. 
And as one of the group once said, you can't be half pregnant. You've got to decide, are you on this side, the winning side, or are you on the other side, the losing, shortcut, problematic side of forex trading? Part of the short cut mentality is they think one entry technique is going to make them rich or one EA is going to make them rich. And the one thing that we did very well, winning forex traders avoid lose, losing forex traders as best they can. Now there's a difference between a learning trader and a, tra a bad trader with a poor mindset. A learning trader could have a positive mindset that moves them very quickly into the, the, the winner trading mentality. But you could also have a learning trader that has the negative mindset and will never move into that area. So the mindset, and I'm sorry I bel I'm belaboring this point very much, is what dif differentiates a successful trader from an unsuccessful trader. You must bear that in mind and you always have to check yourself out. Am I letting a problem hold me back or point me in another direction rather than solving the problem? Am I being positive about my trading? Am I focusing on the positive aspects of forex trading rather on the negative? Am I trying to blame other people for my failures and things like that? So you've got to start being aware and uh, you might have to replay this video to pick up some of the points that I've mentioned. I'll also do a slide with some of the points, but I'm only mentioning some of the points off the top of my head that are that winning traders have and that losing traders have. Luckily, we also had a group. So we were a very positive group and we just fed on each other. You know, the one would say, have you heard this? And the other one would say that. And we really were a cohesive and, and uh, solid group. And some of the members of the group, Barry Thornton, for instance, he went on and made a million dollars a year. So every year he made a million dollars. Now in South Africa, a million dollars was a lot of money. The rent wasn't really worth much in those days. So to make a dollar million in one year is just unbelievable. And a few of a few of the guys and uh, didn't do that well. They did okay, but they didn't do that well. And it was all around the mental outlook. Barry, for instance, had an extremely strong mental outlook about forex trading. Others were a little bit chancier, a little bit lazier, less, uh, less thorough, less pro uh, professional and didn't do all that well. And I'm so lucky that I was part of that group. And those days were really great days because the market has changed quite a bit since then. Uh, when a broker tells you I'm, uh, I'm going to charge you two pips for on this particular currency, you could bank on that. Today you can't do that. The, 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 the pips vary too much and uh, also there was a lot more volatility in those days compared to these days where the market is more managed. But uh, there are still huge opportunities in the market and we're going to be looking at that pretty soon. So let's move on to the plan that I'll show you that you can use to make a million dollars. Now whether you're going to succeed or not is not because the plan is bad. It's your attitude towards forex trading and the plan. And I'm not suggesting that you take the plan as it is. You need to personalize it, convert it into something that you can believe in, that you have, that, that you can see as a tool that will help you in your quest to a million dollars. This is by no means a guarantee of success. You are the biggest factor in this equation. So let's have a look. Now just to repeat, if you think making a lot of money from Forex is difficult, then you merely need to change your mindset. So let's start with the plan. And it's a very easy plan. It's a five step plan. And the first step is to actually have a plan and a strategy. Now I'll go through that. Uh, you need a strategy with a reasonably good success rate. And when I say reasonably good, 60% is good enough. And you need to know a lot about a position sizing. You need to also reinvest in your success. 
and you need to know a bit about compounding your gains. So let's move on to the detail. So let's get into the trading method and quite honestly the method is the easiest part of this whole plan. All that people like Barry did was they traded divergences and, and the divergence system is very easy. It's when the price is going up like that and the uh, and the momentum indicator is going down like that and the momentum indicator could be the RSI, the MACD or the stochastic and you then trade any breakout that happens from there onwards and here's an example here price going down indicator going up and you trade the 50 line crossover or any signal that you feel comfortable with now these signals provide incredibly high success rates especially if you only trade them in the direction of a trend if there is a trend if it's going sideways no problems you can trade buys and sells if it's starting to trend you only trade trades in the direction of the trend so your success rate is extremely high i remember that uh, there were it was not uncommon to have more than uh, 20 successful trades in a row using this particular method it can be used on the 15 minute 30 minute and one hour trading charts and uh, then can be uh, the four hour and the daily can be used as confirmations you could also trade the four hour chart so there's the system very simple and easy gives absolutely fantastic entries and you then have to just uh, arrange the uh, uh, stops and targets according to uh, the time frame that you're using and that type of thing there's a lot of, of about the system on the website on my channel my youtube channel lots of i've also got quite a number of eas that will trade this for you automatically but that's not the purpose of this video i just want to say that the trading methodology is the easiest part of this whole plan so let's move on to the next one now here's the financial plan that uh, essentially the guy that we that i spoke about earlier used and that we then incorporated in our trading so we would all start out with fairly small balances now there's a reason for them there firstly there was not a lot of money in south africa dollars were quite expensive and uh, and we would assume a 60 percent success rate now in fact the success rate was a lot higher it was between 70 and 80 but we assumed a 60 percent success rate for uh, this t t type of thing the big thing here is we risked the same percentage of our account on every single trade so if the trades were going positive we risk five percent of the account if they went negative we still risk five percent so we were risking less when they were going negative and more than they were when they were going positive and uh, over a month or so the average number of trades that were made were between 40 and uh, between 30 and 50 i'm just putting 50, uh, 30 down as a, as a, a number and if that's the case and there was 60 percent success rate then your successes would have given you 900 dollars and your failures would have given you 600 dollars so you would have made a, a 30 dollar profit but the big thing that this guy taught us is that you must reinvest in your success so if your account is doing well put more money in and that's exactly that that is the important most important part of growing your account is to put more money in if you are trading successfully so what we ended up doing is we ended up putting in more money as the success increased so so although there was only three hundred dollars profit we put more money in and we had more to trade the next time round and on it went like that and on it went like that and uh, as you can see as the numbers became a little bit bigger then you can actually drop your percentage of risk so instead of allowing 20 negative trades you can now allow 20, 25 negative trades and there we go and th this is over a two-year period and there's your one million dollars now i must just point out that you would never ever ever have so much money in your trading account never so you would always keep the minimum amount uh, that you need to trade in your trading account and what you would do uh, when you're starting to get balances like this is that most of the money would actually be in the bank 
and you would only transfer that to your trading account if you need it. But if your success rate is reasonably good, you won't need it. So just be careful. This is a very simplistic calculation. I'm not suggesting that you keep this kind of money in your trading account. In fact, I discourage that completely. So firstly, we used to keep the minimum amount in our trading account, but this other, the, the, the the rest would be safely in some bank account that we can transfer very quickly on a daily basis into our trading account to if it needs stopping up but we very seldom needed to top up but uh, this is the uh, types of growth that you can look forward to on a compounding basis now the other thing is that when you reach these bigger bigger trading levels you don't stick with one broker because you know that again you don't put a lot of money in one broker account but you also don't stick with one broker so we could end up trading seven brokers using this method because you don't want to attract excessive uh, attention to yourself so we we would use lots of brokers trading various uh, varying amounts of trades with the particular brokers and we'd soon learn which are the dependable brokers which aren't the ones and 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 shuffle around like that so just be careful i'm not suggesting you use one broker and that you let your account grow to this level at all i would say i say draw out what the surplus that you need and only trade uh, leave in the account what you need and also spread your risk over a number of brokers so you, you, there's the plan so all you have to do is master that divergence technique which is very easy to master and then you start trading now the trick is to to trade so so you can start today start trading the divergence to, uh, technique today build up a record of 30 pips on a demo account see see what your success rate is if your success rate is good enough go live and start the process straight away and also what's unusual about this plan keep on investing so you don't put all your money in at first put uh, put a small amount make sure that your successes are coming through and just feed in the rest on a uh, regular basis and and uh, the compounding and uh, will take care of the rest now uh, if you have a, a bigger success rate here's here's an example of the same plan based on a 70 percent success rate then your risk can be a lot lower because uh, the, the higher success rate the, 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 the less your risk because you're still going to compound into huge numbers at the end there the, the compounding effect is just enormous when you trading uh, a technique that is dependable so uh, again people sleep a lot better when they're risking two and a half percent of their account per trade rather than five percent of the trade so here's another uh, uh, plan that you can use but this is the plan go and do it this is the, the this is the point what are you waiting for now you have the financial plan there it is I've given it to you. Uh, it is downloadable from our forum and uh, the, the link is in fact in the, the description of the video. You now know about a trading strategy. Now I haven't given you all the details but you know the guts of the trading strategy. That's good enough. Go and back trade it. Go and demo trade it. Become the master of that strategy. Make sure that you're happy that it can produce between 60 and 80 percent success rate and you'll be fine. You need to know how to position size. That's one of the key elements. You need to be able to risk the same amount on every trade and percentage the same a percentage not amount and you also need to know uh, know the importance of investing in your success in other words invest monthly just increase your account monthly increase your account monthly if you are experiencing positive results and you will be amazed as the the plan said there is how to compound your gains so there you are what are you waiting for now you can go uh, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments of this video. Any comments, any remarks, leave them in the comments of this video and I will try to address them for you. So if you're able to focus and plan on your, fun and your financial uh, future, if you can invest $100 to $500 a month into your financial future, this is all that's required. Ma if you're able to master a high success uh, forex trading technique as I've shown you that is such an easy and, and high success uh, technique then just put your plans into action just do it as it says here
And always remember, it all starts with you. Don't be like the negative guys that blame their tools, that blame everybody else. It starts with you. You need to put all of this in action. You need to find the technique that's going to be 60 to 80% successful for you. Take it from there. Now, I have, a I have made a list of all the type of things that uh, good traders with a healthy uh, attitude towards forex trading uh, uh, have and you can just go down here you can pause the video and read through them I'm not going to repeat them we've discussed them earlier and I've also made a list of what the other traders have that don't have the success of other traders so uh, again pause the video and you can go through that now I'm just going to repeat again the whole success of of forex trading whether you are trading with EAs whether you're trading manually doesn't matter it's a mindset thing uh, this guy with a positive mindset says I'm going to make a million I'm gonna do what it takes to do it the other guy's gonna say oh it's too hard I don't know how nobody wants to help me I don't have the time I don't have uh, I, I want to pay somebody to do it for me that's much easier I want to buy a robot that's even easier and I don't have the inter uh, internet that's good enough and I don't have money and there's, there's just hundreds of excuses and problems that this guy can think of and the leverage in the European Union is so bad I can never reach this level now that plan that I've just shown you has got nothing to do with leverage you will be successful anyway you will never have leverage problems if you use that plan now the best thing you can do right now is to start trading find a divergent system and trade it and do 30 trades Analyze the 30 trades. You'll you'll be able to find out whether you're doing certain things wrong or certain things right. Your stops are going to be too big. Your targets are going to be too small. That kind of thing. Do 30 trades. If your success rate is good, move on to live trading straight away. Thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and click the bell. But most importantly, share this video. You can do this in many ways. Message your friends, send them emails, or share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and those kind of places. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.